In this video, we're going to authenticate a SendGrid domain to our Go High Level account so we can send emails on behalf of ourselves um, or a client. So we're gonna start by logging in, creating your SendGrid account, having a pro account, then going to authenticate your domain, picking who you're hosting with. It's so like a GoDaddy, for example, mine is Namecheap. Then yes, you wanna brand your links. You press next and you type in your domain. It's gonna tell you what settings to put on the next page tristanparmley.com, for example, and it's gonna tell you to go to your host records to do this in your account. You can also email this to like your web guy or whoever has access to your GoDaddy account. If you're a client of ours, you would access us. You would send it to access or support. So then we go and add these records, go into your Namecheap account or GoDaddy, go to advanced DNS, make sure you're here, and we start adding them one by one. We'll put these side by side, CNAME, SendGrid.net. And you don't wanna use the domain piece here. I do not know why, but the end tristanparmley.com, it already knows that it's on tristanparmley.com. So if yours was like makemorevideos.com, you would not uh, include the make more videos, you'd only include the URL 5538 part. So you really only need this part. At least that's how it's worked for me in the past. Change this to C name. And I'm going to pause this, I'm going to complete the rest. Okay, so I entered all the domains in. Like I said, you take the send grid off, uh, the Tristan Parmley here. I believe you take the send grid off here at the end too, but we're gonna go ahead and push this forward to see if it authenticates. Um, so you go into the side of send grid, click that you've added the records and then press verify. Sometimes you have to press verify multiple times and it'll tell you what's wrong. But um, if, if you have like different steps, so then if that happens, you need to go back and make sure that you don't have the URLs on these and that you keep the send grid on these. So no tristanparmley.com or makemorevideos.com, but the tristanparmley.com here. So then it's good, it's set up, and now that domain can be used to actually send emails. I can brand my links now, um, which is gonna help with deliverability. And because I'd already initiated one in the past, I'll delete that. Okay, now we wanna go inside of our actual Go High Level system and we're gonna to wanna to make sure that that is set up on our integrations in SendGrid 2. So this will be in another training um, after here, but next we would be going to settings and go high level, integrations or uh, SMT, P SMTP and services. And then we would add a service for SendGrid, um, which we're not gonna do in this video because this is an expired account, but that's why we set this up. So then that way we do this on behalf of our clients under a subdomain, then we can go to sending emails inside of an account.